Good morning, kids, and welcome to today's Kids Corner message. I'm Miss Michelle, and today I want to try a little challenge, and you can do this same challenge at your house. All you need are some sticks, and they can be popsicle sticks, craft sticks, sticks that you find out in your yard, but you're going to need several of them. Now, once you have your stick, you're going to just take one and you're going to see if you are strong enough to snap that stick in half. I'm using a popsicle stick, so I'm going to see. Wow, no problem. I could snap that stick so easily. But the second part of the challenge is to take the rest of your sticks and bind them together. So I've used some rubber bands and several popsicle sticks bound together. And now I'm going to see if I can break these sticks. Do you think I'll be able to? Let's find out. I'm trying. Mm. These sticks bound together are much stronger than just one stick all by itself. And these sticks can teach us an important lesson about the church. Now, sometimes when we think of the church, we think of it as a building, Church of the Savior, for example. But the church isn't just a building. The church is really the people that make up the church. The men, the women, the boys, the girls, you and me. We make up the church, the believers of Jesus. And we are much stronger together than we are when we're by ourselves. When we face temptations, those things that we do that we're not supposed to do, it's much easier for us to resist that when we are surrounded by other believers. They become a source of strength and encouragement for us. Well, in today's scripture reading out of the book of John in the New Testament, chapter 17, Jesus is saying a prayer for his disciples. Now this comes at a time shortly before Jesus is gonna to go to the cross to be crucified. He knows that his time on earth is ending, but his disciples are still going to be here. And so he is saying a prayer and he prayed for his disciples and he prayed that they were going to be um, strong together and have unity and support one another because he knew they were gonna face some challenging times. And so he prays this prayer in verses, uh, starting in verse one and going through. In verse nine, he says this, my prayer is not for the world, but for those you have given me because they belong to you. All who are mine belong to you and you have given them to me, so they bring me glory. And he goes on to say about asking God, just be with them, give them strength and let them support one another. When we get tempted, like the disciples, like Jesus knew the disciples were, when we get tempted, we are to rely on one another, fellow believers, members of the church. And when we do that, we're not easily broken like one stick, but we stand tall and strong like many sticks bound together. Will you pray with me? Dear God, Protect us and help us to be one with one another, one with other believers, one in you, so that we are strong and can resist temptation when it arrives, just as you are one with Jesus. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great week, and I'll catch you next Sunday in the Kids' Corner.